This episode is sponsored by Squarespace.com. More about that after the video. Are you sick and tired of mountain bike videos called Top 5 Tips for Beginners that are basically useless? Well today, I'm going to give you a no BS assessment of my Top 5 Tips for Beginner Mountain Bikers that actually is helpful. Number one! Oh. <laughs> Braking, specifically braking with two fingers. That's right, modern mountain bikes have very strong brakes. So one finger is all you need. So remember, this is wrong, this is right, and this is the shocker. First thing you wanna do is get comfortable with braking, get good at braking. Braking, very important. But I'm assuming by now you are at least a little familiar with how your mountain bike works. I'm not gonna tell you where your gears are or how a dropper post works. Okay, if you haven't figured that out yet, just go find someone to smack you in the face with a tack hammer and uh, maybe pick a different sport. <laughs> Tip number two, climbing. I mean, let's face it, climbing sucks, especially when you're first starting out. So my advice to you is, when you're in the midst of an asthma attack and you're borderline hallucinating because you vomited three times trying to keep up with people who've been mountain biking for 20 plus years, don't apologize. That. Don't say I'm sorry. Instead, try saying, hey, thanks for waiting on me. It's gonna make climbing less depressing for you and less annoying for the people who are gonna have to wait on you either way. And if your buddies aren't patient enough to wait for you, them. Find new friends. Plenty of fish in the sea. Them. Number three, what to wear. When it comes to mountain biking, there are a couple of rules to keep in mind. Uh, number one, have fun. Number two, safety first. First of all, a helmet is always required. Don't believe me? Just film yourself riding virtually anywhere, any flat surface in your neighborhood just down the street to grandma's house. Post that clip online and watch everybody lose their goddamn shit. A helmet is a no-brainer. But in terms of what I've witnessed personally, knee pads. Also mandatory, wear fucking knee pads. You would not believe the things that I have seen. Also grab some mountain bike specific shorts and maybe a mountain bike jersey. Ooh, cause let's face it. <laughs> cause let's face it, if you were good enough to send 360s already, you wouldn't be watching this video. And you would know that a good pair of skinny jeans and a band t-shirt will do. Just say no to Lycra. Which leads me to tip number four. <laughs> The attack position. You want your body to be in a neutral position with your chest slightly over the handlebars, your elbows pointing outward and wide, your pedals parallel to the ground. Remember, drop your heels a little bit, keep your head up and always look down the trail as much as possible. Let the bike move underneath you while staying nice and loose and help absorb the rough terrain that's coming at you. Oh yeah, and uh, drop her down when you're going downhill. Uh, but again, if I have to tell you that reference step one, find someone to smack you in the head with a tack hammer. Which leads me to tip number four. Holy shit. Three run-ups. If you're gonna try a new feature, you probably should take a couple run-ups just to see what it's like, feel it out. Because trust me when I say, whatever you're doing, it might look impossible from back there because of the horizon. It might look totally doable when you get up here. But uh, try to remember, as much as we all want to see you progress, we also want to get back to ripping laps at the park. Can't stay here all day. So yeah, three strikes and you're out. I mean, we want to see you progress and everything, but we got shit to do, the beer's to drink. Bonus tips, riding tech is fun, flow, more fun. Anyone says otherwise, they're full of shit. They're lying to you. Wood. Don't ride it when it's wet. Don't do it. Drops. That's the best place to start for progressing. Stay away from here. Seriously. Unless you grew up riding BMX and moto, uh, in that case, go And finally, tip number five. Don't give up. Okay, it's gonna be tough when you first start out. I mean, if you think the climbing is hard, you're gonna be even doubly depressed when you start to descend and realize it's really hard too. So trust me, the more you do it, the better it gets. Kinda like sex, except you're probably still very bad at it, but at least it's fun. So don't give up. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Peace. Hey, man, you ain't got a website for your business yet? Well, that's tantamount to being stuck in a tree. Hiding from a bear all jacked up on narcotics. Shh.
I don't think he can see me. No, stay down there now. You stay down there. Oh, hey there, kitty. Nice kitty. Nice kitty. Oh. That's right, because this episode is once again sponsored by Squarespace.com. And if you're in the market for a new website, Squarespace is the best option for you because they offer professional templates and award-winning customer service. It's a great way to sell merchandise, keep track of your analytics, and draw new customers to your business. So go to Squarespace.com slash Bobo and get 10% off your purchase of website or domain name. Man. Why do you have so much energy? Not only do they make building a website fun and affordable, but you can always go back and customize it at any time. Change things up. Choose a new template. Gather all your social medias in one place. So head over to squarespace.com today and give it a try. And once again, a huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. See, man, all he really wanted to do was party. He ain't so bad. What? No, I will not go to the bathroom with you. Well, you go ahead though, have fun with that.